Part of our Building Bridges for Conservation program is not only working with animals and farmers, but also providing outreach to the local community. We are working with local children in our Projects Nature Club, and every child gets to learn about the slow loris that lives on their family's farm through a series of activities and outreach materials such as t-shirts. <laughs> People know what they love and part of our program is to introduce farmers to the slow lorises that they're protecting on their farms by knowing the names and the lives and the family life of these slow lorises as well as the benefits they provide to the farmers. We hope that farmers can help to save these lorises as individuals as well as a species. As the human population increases, we have less space for animals, but if we can show how animals and humans can live side by side, and even introduce elements that can be useful to humans that are also useful to animals, like a bridge that connects habitat, that can be regularly used by animals, this is a benefit to nature and to um, human food security. Habitat fragmentation is a major threat to animals throughout the tropics and here in West Java where the land is fragmented because of the need to grow food for humans, we're very lucky because at the same time agroforestry practices are still strong and networks of trees intersect fields used by humans. If we could connect those rows of trees with other ways for rare animals to get across their own landscape, we can increase biodiversity which improves livelihoods of humans through pest and rodent consumers of crops, as well as allow these animals to thrive alongside their human neighbors.